Hello everyone, my name is Suman Shah from BISP Solution. Today, an intercompany transaction. We will make a transaction between two different primary ledgers having a different currency and sharing the same chart of accounts and calendar. So and this is the enterprise structure where the common chart of account is there and the calendar is the same, but the currency is different. So it's North US primary ledger and North UK primary ledger, which is having a US legal entity, the North US primary ledger as having a US legal entity and North UK primary, primary ledger grouped under UK legal entity. The balancing segment value, the primary balancing segment value of North US primary ledger is 481 and the North UK primary ledger primary balancing segment as 482. How we can perform that task in application? Now we will navigate to the application. Right now, when we are in application, in this application, the user that is Oliver Brown has a data access of North UK primary ledger. Now the intercompany transaction area. So here is intercompany accounting the transaction. For task panel, we we'll create a transaction. The batch number is 2423. And I will provide the North UK intercompany organization and select as shared service. Provide the detail as marketing expenses. Marketing expenses similarly, and from here I will select the receiver that is my North Intercompany ORG. I will debit, say, it is 650 GBP. And I provide them. Detail, transaction detail, and provider. Select that and provide the distribution combination. Yeah, North Oracle UK North, and the line of business is 20. I will select marketing expenses. So I will select the marketing expenses. Yeah. Marketing others studies Excel marketing. I'm providing the same. And I'll say okay. And I will credit the amount 650 since it is a receivable to me. Receivable. Similarly, I will provide the receiver distribution combination account. I will select from here. Select the company. Yeah. 20. Line of business. Similarly, I will select out it there. Same. 65120. You say OK. Now I will debit 650. It is payable. Since I am the provider, I will receive the amount. And uh, he is the receiver. 
since he is the receiver, we will there is a payable amount for him. So I will put the control account as six fifty GBP. And move down that particular transaction patch number two four two three. I save the same. And now submit. Patch has been submitted. Now I can query the intercompany outbound transaction. The transaction number is 2423. Search. Yeah, you can see the transaction has been submitted and we will wait for the approval. Now, right now we have logged into the, another user. So we will navigate to the general accounting dashboard. So select the same. And you can see the data access is not US primary ledger. Now we will navigate to the intercompany account. And out here in transaction. Through here, manage approvals. You can view that approval is pending. So right. Show all. So you, you can able to see that the approval is pending. And similarly, you can from task panel inbound transaction. You can see the transaction that is two four two three. Search the same, you can approve from here also. So I will first see the particular transition. The system has created a one credit line. Since I am receiver, it is showing that same. So North UK intercompany is the provider and the receiver. The North Intercompany Org, that is North US legal entity. Yeah. So I cancel the same and I will approve from here. I can approve from there also and same I can approve here also. So I will approve the same. So transaction has been saved. And update it and search. This is a received status right now. Now it will show as approved. Yeah, it's shown as approved. Right? So transition status is approved right now. So it is my receiver company. Now I again log into my provider company. Now again I will query in outbound with the batch number 2423. The status is submitted right now. Status has been approved. Now I will transfer this entry to my GL by selecting transfer to GL. I will select the date and submit the same.
Now I will navigate to my general accounting workbench area. Selecting the journal and query through manage journals. So accounting period is 208 and give the batch number and search the same. There we are. It is unposted right now. So now I will post the same. Okay. Search again. It's processing step. Search again. So it has been posted. So this is my reporting. North USD reporting currency ledger. So the entered currency is showing the accounted US currency, and the conversion rate is corporate. So my currency is GBP. And the category used is global intercompany transaction. The journal category is global intercompany transaction. So now we will Login with my another user. Again through transaction. I will transfer the same to my general ledger. And here also I will select the same. Submit. Now we will navigate to the accounting workbench of US primary ledger, North US primary ledger. Task panel, manage journals. You see the data access as North US primary ledger. Now with the batch number of the same, we will query. You can see the uh, and unposted. Now we will post the same. So it has been debited and intercompany line. The system has created an intercompany credit line. Now post the same. So, and again, we will query the same search. So it has been posted now. So I have created a consolidated enterprise ledger. Now, so general accounting dashboard. Task panel. Inquire on detailed balances. We will select a ledger or ledger set. We have created a ledger set that is consolidated enterprise ledger. The period 0822, we will provide the period. The company as first I will take as tables that is my head office that is US not US primary ledger that that will be 481 company value is 481 Oracle not US not the line of business I would select as all 
and select as 20. Search as a that value as 20. Similarly, I will select the account as 29100. This intercompany payable account and the cost center as 00. And the product as 00. And the intercompany select as all. And select as all. search to the same so you can see select so amount has been credited to go to three by grouping the ledger that is not US primary ledger so it is 840.40. Similarly, I will search with 482. Uh, receivable account. The thing remains the same and search. Yeah. So, 81, you can see, 650, the level. you can see the batch number is 2423, 650 GBP and accounted in 840.40 USD. So, by this way, we can consolidate the balances and uh, pass on the elimin elimination entry in consolidated balance ledger that's it thank you